Fred Trotter. I work for the Cautious Patient Foundation. I do open source healthcare software. Uh, if the healthcare system was <coughs> a highway, Cautious Patient Foundation would be defensive driving. Our goal is to have individuals improve their chances of avoiding uh, medical errors. And we use the term medical error in its broadest sense. So we would consider things like misdiagnosis and under treatment as just to different kinds of medical error. In my role and as a developer for them, I have one overarching concern. And this is kind of a big deal. You should be impressed. Um, evolution teaches us that we are going to lose the arms race with bacteria. That's huge. You should all be very impressed. This is a deep insight. Probably the only thing you'll remember from my talk. And um, <clears throat> we're going to lose that. It's not a question of whether antibiotics are going to stop working. It's a question of when. And some of the ideas in our healthcare system are based upon this notion that we can cure infection. In fact, it's pretty easy to say that the notion of bringing a bunch of really sick people all together if you can't cure infections is a pretty bad idea. And that's what a hospital is. We know we need to move the care that takes place in hospitals outside of them in order to avoid infections. We know that's going to happen. And we know that healthcare IT is going to form an enormous part of that. The problem has been that historically, doctors don't have electronic healthcare records. They don't have data. If they do have data, they're hoarding data. The solution to that problem is an incentive program called Meaningful Use. Meaningful Use funds doctors to get electronic healthcare records and forces them to share data on a network. That network uh, is called by the federal government the Nationwide Health Information Network. I call it the health internet. I call it the health internet because of definition. The word internet is just a network based on the IP protocol between lots of organizations. That's little i internet. Big i internet is just the largest one of those. So. Uh, if you talk about a health internet, little i, you're talking about a network that exchanges health information. And the nationwide health information network will become the big i internet uh, sometime this year if it is not already. It's going to run on two protocols. The protocol is going to be IHE, which is tremendously complex but full of features, or direct, which is really simple. It's basically secure email for patients and doctors. Both of those are designed from the ground up to protect patient privacy. In the same way that before the internet happened, we couldn't imagine, you know what would be a really awesome idea? Buying books online. Before you heard of the internet, that notion would have seemed totally foreign to you. And in the same way, we can't really imagine what services, what amazing things are going to go across the health internet. But we do know a couple things. We know that it's going to be based on these two protocols. And we know that, like Craigslist is a mashup of, say, HTTP and SMTP. You see how Craigslist uses those protocols to offer an interesting and useful service. We know that these protocols, which are implemented in open source, will be the basis of whatever services there are. So I'm interested in this one question. What is going to be on the health internet? That is not a rhetorical question. I don't know the answer to that question. I'm asking you the answer to that question. This community is wearing sweatshirts and claiming, and it's one of the themes of this conference, that we can change the world. And I want you to put your money where your mouth is on this issue. I want you to change the health care of the world. I have time, I think. So if you have been injured or you have an intimate friend or family member who has been injured by the healthcare system, either by a late diagnosis or some other way, please stand up. Think about it. A late cancer diagnosis, that counts. See, there's a lot of people standing. Please sit down. Thank you very much. Right? The statistic that I like to give is that a fifth of uh, a fifth leading cause of death is medical errors, but I was just reading about a better way to say it. A better way to say it is, if you had to choose between going to a hospital today and going skydiving, you should go skydiving. It's safer. <laughs> right? That's the basic way to say the problems in the healthcare center. We can solve these problems, and it is time for us as a community to look at ourselves and say, programmer, heal thyself. Thank you very much.